Hi you all, Dota Reactions here, and today I'm going to react to some more Once Upon a Time. This is Season 2, Episode 18, titled Selfless, Brave and True. So let's get into it. Oh, there he is. Dan. I mean, it's the past, Dan. but... So I hope we get to see where exactly he is in Storybook. I'm turning into wood. You have things to do. I know you've been looking forward to working in the bean field. Yeah, you know, Anton says we might have a crop soon. And once we do, we can go home. And none of what happened will matter. It will all be in the past. I used Regina to kill her own mother. I don't think going back will erase that. Pray, Margaret. Please. That was very cruel, yeah. The reason Tamara was getting her stuff is that she's on her way here. Here? As in Storybrooke? Yeah, she should be here at Granny's any minute. What are you thinking? What do you mean? I mean, what are you going to tell her when she sees a giant or a werewolf when past her down Main Street? Between Greg Mendel, our food-obsessed tourist, and now your fiancé, this town is turning into a theme park. I, maybe I didn't think it all the way through. I, I'm sorry. I, I yeah. Her. Does she know who you really are and where you're really from? Take my advice. Don't let her find out on her own. Tell her the truth. Tell her everything. Just me. So he's been there uh, the whole time. For like 18 episodes. I heard you yelling about your situation. And I work with a man who fixes those kinds of problems. What kind of problems? The kind most people just dismiss. For the right price, he can cure anything. Who is he? They call him the dragon. The curse broke. Not for me. When it lifted, I could move again, but I stayed like this. This is my own punishment. Not the queen's. I did this to myself. Honest, I'm so sorry. But you don't have to hide. There are people in Storybrooke who care about you. Emma, your father. Yeah, what about Geppetto? My papa. He misses you. But I can't let him see me like this. But maybe some things you just don't come back from. No matter what you've done, you deserve a second chance. That's easy for you to say. You never had to worry about forgiveness, redemption. You've never needed it. Guzzling like my giant coffee when this guy crashed into me. <laughs> my coffee soaked my blouse. There was no time to change. So, Neil gave me a scarf to hide the stains. And he said I could keep it or call him if I wanted to return it. It's just a little boy. That's me. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying, trying to be honest with you. If you wanted to be honest, you would tell me what this is really about. Cute blonde who was just here, mother of your child. Emma? I'm not a fool, Neil. I saw the way you two look at each other. Uh, it's, it's not like that. I think it is. He's ready. Miss. You drop this. Thank you. Of course. What can we do? Can we help him? No. But I know someone who might be able to. Mother Superior. It's... He's the blue fairy. She helped once. She can help again. She must. I need an item of great value to you. Money, I ask. No, that comes later. I need something close to your heart. In any event, from this world, I also need payment from your wallet. 10,000 American dollars. 10,000? Bring the money tonight and you shall never turn to wood again. I told Pinocchio, so long as he remained brave, truthful, and unselfish, he would stay a real boy. But I'm afraid he did not. I figured a medicine man wouldn't take plastic. <laughs> I would hide that much money a little better. So what brought you to him? Cancer. He tell you you needed a personal item? Mm. A who carry? Something like that around with him. I had a photo of my grandmother and me in my wallet. Now it's gone, but if my cancer is too, 
Yeah. That's kind of dumb, I'm sorry. That's very dumb. I believe we discussed the price. The money. You have it? What a selfish a-hole. It's mine. I'm so sorry. Hey! Somebody stop him! Whatever it is you have, <sighs> you deserve your fate. Storybrook now and never return. I'm here because I realize why you look so familiar to me. It's because we have met before, haven't we? Owen. Uh huh. I'm looking for my father. Your father? He left shortly after you did. I never saw him again. I, I don't believe you. Be me that neither. as it may, it's the truth. People don't just disappear. I bet she ki uh, she killed him. Little boys tend Didn't to have she? Overactive imaginations. I'm not a scared little boy anymore. Well, she locked him. Uh, she locked him up. It's taken me a long time to get back here. The word of me had enough magic to transport one person. No, that was a lie. I made the blue fairy tell you. Oh God. It had enough magic to transport two. Charlie. Mary Margaret. No, that wasn't me. Marco, I am so sorry. I'm not myself. You just made a mistake. I would have done the same thing for my child. I forgive you. You are protecting your son. Yes. Okay. I'm not going anywhere until I get the truth. Interesting choice of words from someone who lied about being sick. You're right. I don't have cancer. And yet you sought me out. I've been searching for someone like you for a very long time. Oh, yes, dude. Mushu her. That killed him. Emma, it's August. August. Listen to me. I have to warn you. August? Warn me? Warn me about what? You and your grandmother. You went back there. You killed him. Yeah, okay. You should have left. <laughs> That killed him, I swear. Also, is still he's made out of wood. August! This is last dying breath to warn us. I will not let that be in vain. I can't even be sad or something. This is... If his actions today were indeed brave, truthful, and unselfish, then you're right. There's a chance I can do it again. Father? I'm not happy about this. Pinocchio. I have to ask you a question. Oh, forget it, as if. I need you to think real hard, okay? Do you remember? You were trying to warn us about something. I... I don't remember. To me, it's like August actually died. And that's... I mean, Pinocchio's still there, but... If you want to head back to New York... It's not the same. I'll send you a postcard. Okay. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? It's not me. I'm, I'm in a hurry. I'm late for work. I'm sorry I lied to you about your dad. I promise I will never lie to you again. Just don't push me away. <clears throat> hey, why haven't you called me back? Where are you? Yeah, of course. I don't have much time. Meals in the shower. I only have a few minutes. 
then let's not waste them. Okay, didn't expect that. That was Once Upon a Time, Season 2, Episode 18, titled Selfless, Brave and True. Uh, this is like uh, the first time I say this, but I didn't really enjoy this episode, to be honest with you guys. I'm sorry. I mean, it was great to see August again. Actually, I didn't really know how much I liked him until now, because we haven't seen him in a while. And I was, I was very happy to see him again. That was good. He's been gone for 18 episodes. That's a long time. Uh, God, uh, um, but I hate that he's a little boy again, because that means we're, I think we're not going to see him again, or maybe in some flashbacks or something, but I don't like this at all. I'm going to miss him. I liked him, even though he made a lot of mistakes, a lot of selfish mistakes, but still... Hmm. And, like with Tamara, I need to watch uh, one scene again. Okay, so, she pretended to have cancer. That's... Ugh. Jesus, I don't have words for her character right now. Um, she's, to me, she's way worse than Cora or even... Mila. <laughs> Before her, I th really thought that Mila was even worse than Cora. <laughs> but, okay, this woman, and she used that thing to kill a dragon and August with electricity. The dragon is a dragon, and Pinocchio is made out of wood. How does that work? That's another thing that really bothers me. The dragon, what an asshole he is. Like he needs a, a, an item of value and $10,000 from people who are like dying. This, <laughs> at least there's a hope for Emma and Neil, I guess, now that uh, her uh, his fiance turned out to be an absolute bitch. I feel kind of bad for um, for saying that I didn't really like an episode, but yeah, it's just the way it is. Um, I've mentioned this uh, a few times. You, I don't, I don't think you can love every single episode of a show. Up to this point, I think, yeah, this is my least favorite episode. So, but that doesn't mean anything. Of course, there were still things that I enjoyed. Henry forgiving Emma. That was cute. Regina found, uh, finding out that uh, who Owen is or who Greg is. Who, of course, is having an affair with Tamara. Poor Neil. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>